Hi guys, this is Michael from the Board Games Chronicle. Today I'm going to present to you another interesting war game. This will be Salerno, 1943, a game by Mark Simonic. Uh, this is actually one of the games which I acquired during the GMT Fall Save. There were a couple of them, and accidentally a lot of them exactly from, from that author, Mark Simonic. Uh, okay. What you are getting here? You are getting another masterpiece uh, from his series of uh, tactical uh, war games, Hex and Counter ones. Mm, that in particular uh, reflects the Normandy uh, 44, another landing, another uh, amphibious operation of the Allies, and uh, to some extent uses that system of Normandy 44. Uh, the game is pretty fresh. I think this is one of the newest uh, Mark Simonich games uh, from, from the, this year, 2022. Historically, what was it? Uh, Salerno uh, 43 happened in September 1943, of course, and this was a mainland invasion of Allies on Italy. We first, first took the Vichy France in the North Africa, then they attacked the Sicily, and as a third step, they moved against the mainland Italy. It was attacked in Bay of Salerno. It was uh, executed by a couple of British and American divisions, and uh, they were facing the uh, German Panther Division and uh, additionally a couple of, of other, other formations. It was a really fierce battle for around uh, two weeks, uh, uh, which, which uh, was, was to some extent in question for a pretty long t uh, time. Uh, Interesting to say, from a strategic point of view, uh, we need to remember that it was also part, you can say, of, of, of a game between British and US uh, commanders in, the, in, the, in the Italy, especially Montgomery on the British side, who will get first to Rome. So let's be honest, uh, if both sides would cooperate fully, Probably there will be no such problems with Salerno as, as they were there. The British, the British were advancing uh, via land while yeah, this landing was, was happening. But this is not for me to judge. What I would like simply to focus today is on the game. Uh, I really like the front cover of, 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 a, of a game. Uh, you can see a German tank in, in action. Uh, just wondering whether it's uh, tiger, or well, yes, this is Tiger, exactly, shooting at, at approaching Allied troops. Yeah, let's see once, what's in the box. Uh, usually, Mark Simonich games are pretty compact, uh, they don't have, uh, uh, in most cases, the, the mounted maps. So, as you can see, this is a shallow, shallow, pretty shallow box. Salerno is one of the smallest games by Mark Simonich and pretty good as an entry title. To this, to this series. So let us have a look what do we get in the box. First and foremost, yeah, we got a die, one six-sided die, uh, generally used for all the combat resolution, so on and so forth. Then we have the rule book. Um, you may say, okay, 32 pages, a lot of this. I would say, guys, if you played at least one game, by, by this author, you would know most of those rules by heart. And if you played Normandy, a majority of those rules will be known to you. Also important to note that the rules are not uh, going through, through the whole uh, rule book. As you can see, they finish uh, around here on 20, 23rd page. So it's like 20 pages of, of, of reading because there is also a front page. We have two scenarios, one is eight turns and the other is full 24 turns. This is the campaign scenario. In campaign scenario, uh, you need to exit some of the uh, allied uh, units through the northern border. In, in, a, in a small scenario, yeah, the um, goals are not so ambitious. Yep, we have some designer notes. Here is the extended example of play, one of the best ways to learn the game. As you can see, not overly many, many troops taking taking part in this invasion, but a lot of mountains around, uh, which we should see in a moment 
on the actual map. Okay. Let me move on. This is a map. As I said, this is not a mounted map, which saves a lot of space, but I have a feeling also a lot of cost. The map is small. Yeah, it's not all overly large. This is pretty small. As you can see, it has a lot of mountain. And the main landings are here in this bay and uh, Gulf of uh, Salerno, exactly. So here the uh, Allied troops will be landing and they will be pushing forward through the land. Uh, there are victory points in various places. And here you have the possibility to exit also. Uh, from from that side. Uh, as always on the map, we are getting the turn track, also the map map key, uh, sequence of play. So sorry, you you actually have most of the things which you you need during the game. Uh, the combat resolution table will be separately, of course. Okay, so that's the map. Now, <clears throat> this is uh, something which uh, I'm finding in all Mark Simonge games, uh, the setup. So the setup is done not, uh, and, and, and the reinforcements, the reinforcements and the setups. Yeah, so this is for the reinforcements, which shows exactly which units you will be getting at which turn, for example, here. And here is also the setup and the reinforcement. You simply take the counters, put on this uh, let's say, a setup a reinforcement table, and then during the game, take them from there. Um, it's much easier and much more convenient than simply saying, uh, okay, let's take that, this, uh, we take the name, this uh, particular uh, um, unit is placed at that particular hex. No, it's much easier to do it like this. Uh, it really speeds up the setup and then the reinforcement part. So yes, uh, this scenario, uh, optional start, yeah, this optional start, and this is campaign game and avalanche scenario. Here are the Germans, campaign game and avalanche scenario, and they don't have optional yeah, setup. Not overly many units. Now we have two player eight, each of the players will have one of theirs. So first of all, combat resolution table mm, with the results described. Uh, we have determined defense and some other mm, tables where you roll. Uh, here is a very important part, sequence of play. Uh, yes, uh, summary of movement hexes effects, some other additional tables. Here we have uh, unit types, description and also the colors uh, and uh, some characteristics. A couple of other tables and here the most one of the most important tables after CRT, so uh, the actual terrain table. Okay, yep. Both of those are yeah, similar, so we'll not be going through that one. And now the counters. I would like to draw your attention to one thing. There are not too many counters. As you can see, these are the uh, British and American counters. Eight times one, two, three, four, eight times um, ten. Eighty counters? That's not much. Eighty counters on the on the Brit Allied side, and then we have a German counters. The actual forces which will be fighting will be here. Thirty to forty, forty-four counters. So uh, this is really good game. It's an entry position to this uh, Mark Simonge system and can be played pretty, pretty quickly. Probably I will need some country clipping. You know that I love to have my, my tokens around it. But other than that, with the usual high quality of GMT production, uh, can't wait to bring this to the table. This, this will be very much suitable for the solo game. Uh, definitely uh, pushing the landing units forward and trying the best with the Germans uh, to, to, to react. So this is all what we got in the box. Counters, player aids, setup and reinforcements, map and rules of play, plus one die. And that was exactly Salerno 43, the newest title from Mark Simonich, which I hope to bring to the table as soon as possible. Uh, 
uh, most probably uh, initially solitaire, solitaire and then with my colleagues who also love those tactical combat games. And as I said, if you learn one game in the series, most of others with, will follow pretty quickly the suit. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Uh, you can count on more content from me on, on Salerno. Uh, if you like this video, please give thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, kindly please subscribe. You will have a link at the end of this video to subscribe. And you can also check some of interesting playlists, which will be visible there. Mm. At the end, uh, at the bottom um, from, from this video, you will also have a comment section where feel free uh, to share your opinions, comments uh, regarding the game, regarding this video, or any other topic you would like to ask. That's all for today. Thank you very much for being from me, and see you in another interesting material. Thank you. Bye.